German novel. Okay, so Russians turn Bolshevik. This is a very important chapter because this is one of the starting points, not of the genocide. We talked kind of about the genocide up in the beginning here. Russians turning Bolshevik. So, as you know, the Bolshevik movement came uh, twice. There was the Bolshevik movement and there was the red, the, the bloody Bolshevik movement in October of uh, 1917. There was one in April, April, May. These movements were actually financed from America. And the biggest financer of the Bolshevik movement that is well documented, and in fact, when the Bolshevik movement happened, this person actually issued a letter of congratulations that was, that was printed in the newspapers at that time. And they had a big celebration, I think, at Carnegie Hall or one of these big, uh, these big halls in uh, New York. And that person was Jacob H. Schiff. And you got to remember this name because this is a very important name. He was a banker. He had come over in the very late 1800s. He was a representative of the Rothschilds. And he was their representative in the United States. And he had come over and he had established himself and he had a banking house and he gave a lot of money to this uh, movement. And in fact, I don't know if I mentioned in, in here, I think it may be in one of, no, it, it's not in here, I don't think. I'm trying to remember now because it's been a while since I've actually gone over this material. Schiff had, besides this Bolshevik movement, it is, it's in this chapter, prior to this Bolshevik movement, of 1917, he had financed Japan in the Japanese-Russian War, and that was in 1904, 1903, 1904, 1905, and, and he was actually honored by the Japanese government for financing that, and that was a time when it is in this chapter. So he basically ended up financing that. A lot of Russians were captured, and they were indoctrinated while they were in prisons and then sent back to Russia. So they were basically sleeping cells waiting to stand to their feet. They were brainwashed that the Tsar is bad and we have to get rid of them and so on and so forth. So they, they already had people on the ground from 1905 and now we're talking 12 years later. So these were 18 year olds and now they're 30 year olds. So now they're really you know at the point where, the breaking point where somebody just has to come in there and say, charge. So that's the Bolshevik movement. Jacob H. Schiff is a very important name to remember because it comes up a lot in this book.